What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of did some... I don't know what you would call it. I guess cleanup? Or closing in? Maybe is a better term. Uh, the one thing we did left kind of exposed a little bit is this walkway area, which I haven't exactly tackled yet, but it's going to end up getting changed around quite a bit. Uh, and we're going to remove some of the excess flooring. And I think just go to a four-length and a three-length elevator to get you to the respective floors. And kind of just move on from there. Like, I don't really see the need to do a bunch of other stuff with that. It was mostly just for the idea of uh, programmable elevators and all that good stuff. Um, so in the last episode, we discussed this area and modifying it. Uh, to where you would come off of this area and go around here, and along that way you would have kind of your stuff in in this area as opposed to it all being clumped together right here. Uh, we're going to work on that a little bit today. First, I want to make sure I've got mirror mode on because we're going to be basically working both sides at the same time. Now, the only thing we're going to have to watch out for is like we've run into before, where the corners don't usually match. So that's something we'll have to take into account. Okay. And, of course, we get these lovely ramps that I can never get to attach correctly. Uh, let's see you there, and then I should be able to attach it to this wall. Maybe. Well, oh, wait. <laughs> Tag nabbit. Why won't you flip the right way? Oh, wait a minute. Do I need it to be... I need it to be lower. Let's put a block here and try it this way. That's probably what it was. Maybe. Good grief, I cannot get this to spin right. There we go! Though now that I'm looking at it, I think these are colored wrong? Oh, it was just that... Nope, not colored wrong. Must just be lighting. Weird. Okay. Um, actually, no. This is not okay. This is the wrong way. I need you to actually go this way. No. Good grief. Why can I not get you to go the right way? I need it to go down from this perspective. And it just seems to refuse to cooperate. Like, there. Go no, go down. <laughs> Why will this not work? There's there's something... Oh, I see the problem. We have to go even lower. Because sense this makes none. There we go. Finally what I was looking for. Good grief. Alright. And of course I can't build off of this one. Because that would just make more sense. Um, this isn't entirely necessary, but as far as going up or down, uh, we could actually keep it the same level and be okay. I personally just wanted the ramp to go up a little bit higher. Um, now, this wall section is all like relative. like That could change. Uh, I am going to turn this off for just a second so I can get the... No, not that. I want to turn that off. So I can get the corners set up. Actually, we might work on this end instead, because we have more light over here. There we go. Now we can turn this back on. Um, again, if you haven't been keeping up with my episodes, that's mostly because the um, these catwalks, I don't know, with mirror mode on, they, they just don't play nice, basically, for lack of a better term. Alright, so let's plan this 
out here. I don't know... Ooh, I could branch off here, maybe. I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. So what we're going to basically be doing is tying this walkway... Um, into the main walkway, but also... Um, actually, this gives me a cool wing idea that we could implement later. Uh, but also, it gives us more room than just this small space here to work with. So, what I'm thinking is if this is the, just an airlock, we're going to make this kind of an airlock area. Um, possibly with, like, lockers or whatever. And then you can go up and down, or up and over, I guess is probably more accurate. So you can go like this. And along your way, then, like, we're going to go right, and we'll get into uh, armory, cryotubes, med bay, things of that nature. So for now... I'm just going to run a line here of catwalks, if I can get it to... There we go. Now, I am going to actually build this mostly upside down, I think. Just because I'm familiar with the orientation. And can kind of gauge better where I'm at. We also can do things down here, too. We can bring this out and over and, you know, do different different things like that. It's just going to be kind of a planning stage and figuring out what we want to do. Um, I'm thinking of doing... This could actually lead to the control weaponry area up here as well. It could wrap around if we didn't want to go through the hangar. Uh, that's still optional, though. Let's see what that what that does, actually. I know I was just talking about building the other area, but I'm just curious how that would look. Um, we could probably get away with that and just do, like, a corner and then connect it. So we'll leave that. Um, this one, we're going to trim this because we don't really need a four split there. We'll bring that that way for now. Why did that buzz. Oh, that's that's lovely, because it was a different dimension over here. Great. That's just great. Okay, so this would then be the main row. And it probably beeped at me because I already had that over here. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's all properly aligned, I guess, for now. At least I'll know where the orientation is later. Um, and I apologize if I'm kind of doing this a little haphazardly, talking a little weird, anything like that that's just odd or out of place. Um, it's really late where I'm, where I'm at when I'm recording this, and I'm very, very tired, and I have to get up in like a few hours. So I'm kind of just rushing through it a little bit just because I needed to get an episode out, and I really hadn't done any prep work planning on what I was going to do. I did have this idea, I mean, we talked about it in the last episode, so I kind of had an idea of what I was going to be doing, but... Let me make sure this is working on the other side. Okay, the corner didn't, but that's expected. We'll work with that. Um, I do think... This doesn't look like too much room to make a room, to be honest. Uh, let's put a T-junction here, so that we can continue in here. Oops. Come on. There we go. Uh, but we can also bring in this out for something else as well. And again, it's, I hate this particular block. It's just very poppy. Like, it kind of bounces around, and it's very annoying. Okay, so first priority is let's tie this in here for the up, upper part, and then we can work from there as to uh, what other stuff we want to do. Is that right? Yeah, I actually think it is, for once. I'm not too 
keen on that ceiling tile there, though. That could be a problem later. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Is it this? Did I line this up? No, I did not. Okay. I was like, there's no way I lined this up perfectly. Oh, there we go. That's the problem. I just wasn't flipped. Right. Okay. For now, I'm just going to do this. And we're just going to have a simple uh, platform there. But we're definitely going to fix that and branch off and do other rooms. Because we've got... Let's see. What do we have? We have that direction, but mostly we have this spot that could easily be another room. Uh, separated by a ceiling would give it some... Well, separation. And because that's now tied together, we don't have to worry about it being disconnected. So let's bring this in here. Um, let's say... Alright, so let's follow this back from here. And this is going to be a little disorienting, mostly because I haven't had the gravity set up correctly, so we're just jetpacking. So, if we came in through here and this was an airlock type environment, uh, we would go up these catwalks and they would basically flip the gravity. And then we would come down here, and then you could walk over here, and then go in this way. This doesn't seem like something that would immediately need to be accessed. Like, I'm trying to go off of immediate orientation. So right when you walk in from space, what do you need first? You need, like, locker rooms, um, suit changing, all that kind of stuff in the airlock area. But then if we went down a little ways, we could easily make this, like, an armory. And maybe a med bay. That seems to make the most sense to me, simply because if you were injured, you would walk right in and and bring your person to the medic room or to the armory kind of thing. That's my theory. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, up here, because it takes longer to get to and it's not as easily accessible, we'll make this the cryo room. Uh, and... The room up there, the bridge, is kind of doubling as like a CIC type of thing, so I don't think I really need like a quote-unquote weapons room. Uh, but if I needed one, this would be probably my weapons area, like the bow of the ship where you control like a big cannon or something. I'm not, I'm not sure on how I'm going to do that quite yet. But I think this is where I want the rooms laid out. Oh, we do need a mess hall. Also something that's not immediately needed. So, we could make the mess hall... Hmm. We could put the mess hall in between here. Uh, we could put it... I don't know. I don't know where a good spot would be. If this is... Well, we could make this the mess hall and then take this and make it the cryo area. That could work. That could work. We also need a spot for crew quarters. So tell you what I'm going to do, actually, since we've already got a bit of a height difference here. Height, sorry. So looking at it from this distance, this far back, we've got our little frame that's kind of floating around, but arguably falling apart. So you could see kind of a gradient, but it still seems... Well, no, that, that actually works pretty well. Uh, we don't need a huge room for the thrusters, I don't think. So we would have small armory. Well, actually, I... That's very small. This, this area right over in here is kind of small. Sure. Might have to work with that a little bit. Just for kicks and giggles, I want to delete this. Okay, that leaks air, so we can't break that. I don't know, this I'm not sold on yet. I'm gonna have to work with that one a little bit. Um, 
as I said, we could also come off of this and go down and do another of its own room here. Actually, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, what do I need? I need a T. Okay, so we're going to put a T-junction. Or no. Four-way. I need a four-directional. Four there we go. So I need that. Can I get away with a ramp here? Of course not, because it needs two blocks for some strange, unknown reason. Alright, so... Please be breakable. Okay, it is, but then that leaks. And I don't think this will seal it. Let's actually find that out. That would be a good thing. So that's here. Okay. So that's interesting. This actually seals the floor. Because you can see here, it should be open. But when you break it, then it vents. Hmm. Intriguing. Very intriguing. That leaks, of course. So this would be... How, how low is this floor here? Somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to leave that there. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but we could definitely do something with it. We could bring it back over in here, wrap it down... Something. And that's the other thing. We could actually go further, a little bit further down. Maybe like one layer. Let's do that. If it'll let me. Oh, it'll let me go up. Of course, but it won't let me. I hate these blocks sometimes. Like, they're just so picky. What did that do? How did it place it on the other side? That's totally what just happened, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Weird. Why did it give me the little placing sound? It should give me the beep beep type of noise. I don't know, whatever. Um, I was thinking about going over these pipes, like bringing it back around, but that... Eh, that might raise it up too high. So, let's... I'm just going to start building with walls here. With blocks. The reason being, we kind of need to get an idea of what kind of room space we're looking at. So let's just place some blocks here. Apologize for the frames, too. I've been doing a lot more in this build than I really intended to originally. And it's beginning to show a little bit. So yeah, that's not that big of a room at all. So we'll have to dial this back by at least, like, two. And just leave, like, a ramp there. Now, let's just go ahead and fill this in. Something like that. And we could make... Well, I shouldn't say that because the walkway is going to be in the floor. Like, that is the floor. So, we are going to need that in there, but... Uh, let's just, let's just build walls to give us a pathway idea. I'm just going to build it to, like, each of the, uh, edge pieces. Wow, my game is getting so laggy. I know it's all, like, the modded blocks and all that crap. Truth be told, I might have to... <laughs> Originally, for those of you that are just tuning in that haven't been keeping up with what I've been doing here, um, this was supposed to be a build that I was then going to copy into my survival series. The only thing is, I'm having problems just keeping up with this thing as I'm building it, and it gets, like, that much bigger. So, I'm thinking probably not going to end up being able to use this in survival because I can't really even use it. 
So more than likely, what's going to happen is this is going to turn into just a build. Uh, and then we'll end up, like... Uh, I'm thinking of almost delving into that small sh the large small ship idea. Which I've never actually tried to do. So it would definitely be a first. But I've seen a lot of people actually pull out some really cool stuff because of the ability to maintain a lot of attention to detail. So I might have to try my hand at that and just make a smaller, uh, like, actually usable ship. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, actually. That could be helpful. Getting some feedback about that. No, don't grab that. Here you go. Okay. Alright, and we'll put this here. Come on. Come on. Whoa, where did I just end up? Okay, I ended up under this block. And for here... I'm just gonna do like this for now. I don't know how many of these blocks will actually stay here. It's mostly just to give me an idea of what we're looking at for um, wall space, room configurations, stuff like that, so that I can get a better idea of how I want to lay these rooms out, because that's what I'm really having an issue with, is deciding, like, I want this room here, and I want it to have this much space, and this is how much space we have to work with, blah, 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 blah. Let's just do that. Alright, so basically, this, that could work, um, oh, no, it can't, I'm getting stuck. Alright, so I'll have to play around with that a little bit. Well, maybe not. What happens if I just remove that? Nothing. It just looks like a cool walkway, because you should be walking this way, normally. So it would just be a hole in the ceiling, and then up there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it, I like it. So for this one, you would come down here. Well, I guess I didn't finish. <laughs> that, didn't, uh, that didn't go the way I was expecting. Alright, so this one you would come down here. That's plenty of room between the two... I think. Though it would make everything a one block tall on both rooms. Not ideal, but not terrible. Uh, this one would be a little bit taller, I think. No, maybe not. Now that I'm looking at it. Because if we actually had a block in the center that was supposed to be for ceiling, that would wouldn't actually work. Alright, so in here we've got... Uh, let's see, in here we've got... well that's enough space. Maybe. Let's play around with this a little bit. Um, I don't like this block, but I don't know... Oh, okay. Well, problem solved. <laughs> and actually, if these aren't visible, then we don't have to worry about them because we can just place a block uh, above that and it'll just become the wall, which is perfectly fine. And we can get rid of this stuff because this is basically going to turn into the wall. Yes, I am kind of backtracking a little bit with, like, I could have just placed these blocks to begin with, but, you know. What are you going to do? Um, ooh. Well, that would work. That would work. Let's just keep that going. There we go. I don't know why it insists on flipping it. I don't want it that way. 
flip this over. There we go. Okay, so sorry for cutting that a little abruptly. Um, I had some background noise that was going on that I didn't want to bleed into my recording, so I just decided to cut it and pick back up here after we had, after I'd done some work and things quieted down. Um, I keep walking off of here. Man, my frames are getting really bad. Like, that's something that I'm just going to have to address relatively soon in getting it fixed, because this, this is getting pretty pretty jagged. I'm not going to lie. So, anyways, here's what I've got so far. We don't have a light in this area, which is not cool. Uh, where do I want to, where do I want to put it? Maybe like here. Er, let's put it right there. It's kind of an in-between, and then we can put one here on this corner. Yeah, that should work. So first we have the armory, which, I mean, it was just kind of like, as I was building it, I'm like, you know, there's only like a couple armory blocks, so I just went ahead and did that. I did rig it up for uh, venting, because I was just so close to the vent, I figured why the heck not. Um, some of you have been mentioning that, that like, oh, you're forgetting about venting. I'm not forgetting about it, I just, I don't really think it really needs to factor into the design that much. It's basically... I like using these flush ones, so it's basically just finding a, a block and breaking it and replacing it. I did both of these with the uh, glass doors. I was thinking the armory would be like bulletproof glass. You know? Um, and then, of course, you have to have glass for uh, a med bay, because what if there's some infectious disease or something? Uh... Speaking of vents, yeah, I could probably break out any one of these NM blocks above us here and just put vents in, or a vent. So, uh, we've got our beds here. I uh, put some display monitors as, like, supposed to be, like, life support or whatever. Um, there is actually supposed to be a block, now that I think about it. Uh, vital signs? Maybe I don't have it. Maybe it's just an image in the LCD display, I'm not sure. Uh, and then I put the new SF um, med bays in here. Not really sure how they fit. They don't. They kind of look a little out of place. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I use these S, uh, uh, S cryopods. Not really because they're supposed to be cryo. It's that it's, it is kind of an imperial, like it's taking on a Star Wars-esque tone. And this kind of looked like uh, back to tanks. So I decided to throw those in there too, just because I can. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the med bay, though. I'm not quite sold on these. Uh, these were all like the different med things I had. Let's just actually remove this one. I couldn't fit this one in here. It was too big of a block. Um, it needs more space. Actually, the default one... Or wait, no, that's... Is that the wrong block? Maybe I grabbed the wrong block. That could that could actually have a lot to do with this. That's a 5x3 medical room. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. So this is a 2x2x1, two by two by so I would have to change the lighting for that to work. Uh, we do have these smaller ones. If we just type in med... Uh, we have medical station... But that's just on the wall. Sarcophagus. Not exactly that helpful. Um, so yeah, really don't have that many other options. So we could put one like this, but I just put the new SF ones down for reasons. But let's go ahead and put like two here. That might break it up a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about this though, because technically I'm pretty sure with one of these uh, we don't actually need... Well, I don't know. I don't know, now that I think about it, because the med stations are supposed to have the color thing in it, too. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all that. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode, because it's getting a little long. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!